Welcome to Awesome Action Toys. And today we're looking at the Marine 303 Infantry Trooper. This is very sought after. This was a general release, but they sold out really fast. It's probably the most popular trooper at the moment. Okay, so look at the front. We've got a picture of three Marines there. You have two of their assault rifles, one with the uh, machine gun or submachine gun there, the handheld. Side, just have the acid rain logo, the 303. Other side, Marine Infantry, 303. The back, normal details, and with the skull, which the Marines have. Inside is just your crate, the new style, and these can be easily held by uh, laurels. I did a review of a laurel earlier, but I've got one here, so you can see. You can have, you can imagine, two of these laurels holding these crates and taking them along somewhere like this. So, packaging is really nice. Inside is just, just the foam that we're used to. But what about the actual figure itself? What is the figure like? Well, it's very pleasing to say it looks like a picture. So, here is a marine. 303 Inventory Marine. Very, very nice. Now what's nice about this, this has got soft goods. So you see the cloth material here on the front. It doesn't interfere with his articulation like the uh, plastic or the rubbery plastic may do. Easy to pose with the ankles and not the ratchet ones, so it's very easy to pose there. Same articulation as the Soul Commander, as all the other previous ones, which is nice with the double knees, the double elbows and so on. Uh, very good, comes with the assault rifle, which we can see here. Same as the Facetti, say, is the same as the AMM one. Very, very nice. He comes with the little machine gun here, which I will make him hold there. Again, which is very, very nice, and you can hold both hands if need be. And you can pose him. Okay. He comes with this backpack, which is nice again. Uh, to put the backpack on, you have to remove this webbing first. Don't keep it on him. Then separate from the figure, you push the backpack uh, notch into the webbing hole. And he also comes with, sorry, his head's just popped off. He also comes with, which I've got inside the backpack now. At least I hope I've got it inside there, let's have a look. But yeah, it's still in there. There we go. Nice little feature. We get a couple of cans of rations. And it says field ration. Okay, and it says meal. Can you see that there? Okay, another one here. Field ration, it says meal. This is a slightly bigger tin. Okay, so you get two tins for the rations there, the backpack, you get your two guns and your trooper. Now, the only thing I'll say about this, which is maybe a negative, they come with this nice plastic hood part here. The problem is that it makes it more difficult to pose the head and the head pops off more easier because this gets in the way. If you take it off, it's far easier to pose and the head will stay on far tighter and easier. But it doesn't look quite the same. Not quite the same aesthetic without the plastic hood part. Uh, it would have been nice if the neck peg was slightly longer to compensate for the hood, but other than that, this figure is practically perfect. It is really, really nice looking. Um, these are hard to find. You can't find them in shops, again, unless you're incredibly lucky. And the second-hand market, these have gone up to put around about uh, 40 to 50 USD. Uh, price and even sometimes more than that depending so this is the marine figure really nice let me just put his uh, sorry his rations back in his backpack and put his gun back on again now he comes with two guns as you saw but you can only hold one at a time realistically you can't really have him holding one the assault rifle one hand and the machine pistol or machine gun in the other because it won't look that realistic you can do it if you want sort of a Rambo thing but what people tend to do, and I do it myself when I'm posing my marines on my 
shelf for my collection. I'm just getting hold of this gun nicely first of all. So I'm going for a on the sights hole instead. Okay. So he's holding his gun here, so if I make him stand up, is the backpack has the straps and the webbing, you can just stick it over the straps and it will stay in place like that, giving a nice give you some contrast there, a nice effective look. Very nice figures, very very nice indeed, very popular because people want to army build with them. And so some I mean I'm a, I myself have five that I have in my collection. Uh, people have a lot more than me. These are really nice. If you do get a chance to pick up a marine figure, do pick one up. I don't know if they're going to be reissued in future. The Soul Commanders and the Argots, the Argots rather, will be very, very shortly in the uh, next year, 2018. Or maybe this year, depending. But these we don't know. So if you can find them, do get them. They are really nice. And I do it really nice if you put it next to, for example, a bit of Stronghold. My Stronghold's not here, but I put it next to the Laurel. Marine Laurel. And get yourself a nice looking... Uh, set up there. Okay, if I put this up, you can get a bit of contrast and actual figures. So, this is the uh, Marine Infantry 303 uh, figure review by Awesome Action Toys. Please like, share, subscribe, and see my other videos. Watch out for more reviews and more uh, videos coming soon. Until then, keep collecting and having fun.